Executive Director, Lennox Heights Limited, Mr. Oladiji Muyu Dukoya, celebrated his 70th birthday on Thursday, the 2nd of June, 2022. His friends, business associates and well-wishers joined him and his family members at the All Souls Church, Lake Lagos, for a communion and thanksgiving service. Notable among the high-profile guests in attendance were businessman and real estate guru, Sir Uluo Kewu and wife, Lady Adejo Keo Kewu, AIG Tunja Lakbini retired, Mr. Tayo Ayeni, Chief Benga Obasa, among many others. The celebrants, Mr. Oladeju Dukoya, a native of Ijebu Isoi in Ogo State, was born on the 2nd of June 1952 to the family of Alahaji Ajibola and Alaja Abekeo Dukoya. After many years of active and fulfilling service at the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNBC, he became executive director of Lennox Heights, a management consulting organization providing professional services and learning and real estate development. His marriage to Mrs. Elizabeth Odukoya and the union of 42 years is blessed with three successful children. After hymn or renditions led by the choir, daughter of the celebrant, Tobio Dukoya, took the Bible reading. In the sermon by Rev. Olaito Jose Adeogun of the Church of Nativity, Park View Estate, Ikoyi, Lagos, he said the celebrant is a man who has been favored by God from birth, stressing that the celebrant must remain thankful to God for being born into a family of influence and affluence, which is a privilege many do not have. Lord has blessed you tremendously, and I know that He will continue to bless you. And I want to go back to the theme, a call to serving God. In John 12, 16, it says, If anyone serves me, he must follow me. And where I am, there will my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor me. Calling you to serve God more. I have known you since chapter of the Hebrews. I know that you know God. You are leader, fellowship group, faith of our full fellowship of grace and obedience. I was your deputy leader. I know the amount of time and energy you spent to build up that fellowship. I just walked into what you had done and you made it easy. I know you love God. I know you worship him. But what the Spirit asked me to tell you is that it's not enough. I entered the ministry at the age of 60. I'm not asking you to do that. But there are things you can do more for God. It's not about giving money. That's good because the church needs money for outreach, for revivals, and things like that. You can be a leader. You can be an author, an author, sir. You can join the guild of stewards. There's so much more that God wants you to do. Because God knows your capacity. 
He knows what you can do. So he's calling on you to serve him more. And I know that deep down inside you, you will find what you want to do to serve God. Following afterwards was the Holy Communion and Thanksgiving session presided over by Venerable Follower Shore Olua Agbelusi, Vicar, All Souls Church, Lekki, Lagos. The celebrant was serenaded with a birthday song chorused by the entire congregation. Guests later converged on the Standard Alliance building, Lekki Lagos, for the reception party. Dignitaries who graced the reception party include Diony Katelvi Katesru Liri, Oba Latifa Todua Biodo Adams, and wife, Uluri Risikat Adams. The Shaden Riri of Ijebui Soin, His Royal Majesty, Oba Abdul Rashid Omotayo Salami, among other important personalities. The event, ably compared by MC Shion, saw the celebrant and his family dance into the hall to the music provided by the ubiquitous faith band. <laughs> After the opening prayer by Sir Oluokewo, 
The chairman of the occasion, Otumba Aki Oshiemi, gave his remarks, in which he welcomed all to the occasion and gave a brief history on his relationship with the celebrant. And I feel very happy to come here today to be the chairman at the social birthday. It's a landmark birthday, and I wish him well. I've been with him for some time, and as Peter said in the church today, Oluwa Nishola, he said he was going through uh, my third brother, and I said to call your residence, I said at the front house of the day, the right to Oluwa Nishola. Today, Olano Oluwa Shifu and Akwe, I'm so delighted, and the other thing I took from what the priest said, the priest said in the church today, was that over the years, AG, you count your blessings, name them one by one, and be eternally grateful to see what God has done for you. Even though myself and his wife are family, but I took him as a brother. And that's all you've been like that for many, many, many years. So today, it is a thing of joy to be here to witness the 17th birthday and celebrate with him. Friends and family members took turns to pay glowing tribute to the celebrant. I thank God for David. David is a special man. He's my in law, but he's more than an in law. He's a brother. He's everything to us in our family. I want to thank God for his life. I want to thank God for my sister. I want to thank God for the family.
Traditional ruler of Ijebu Isoyi, His Royal Majesty, Oba Abdul Rashid Omotayo Kosi Salami, after his tribute, was joined by other Ijebu Isoyi indigents for a special song for the celebrant. Thereafter was the kick cutting exercise, coordinated by Sir Oluokewu, before the dance floor was declared open as the fifth band serenaded all with beautiful medleys. You will be this to the new strength, into new power. So the later will not come. But the Ifaru Kuba from the Lord is. 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 From Biscon Communications, it's 70 hearty cheers to Mr. Oladeji Muyu Dukoya. Happy birthday, sir. <laughs> 